Another method of obtaining a tobacco leaf without nicotine is to grow it that way. The two methods of doing this are hybridization and genetic engineering. At Philip Morris, we are applying genetic engineering to develop tobacco plants free of nicotine. Our objective is to prevent the synthesis of nicotine in the tobacco cells. We prevent the formation of a required protein, referred to as MPO, necessary for catalyzing one of the major steps in the plant's synthesis of nicotine. The steps are, we cut and sterilize a small piece of healthy plant. Place the cutting on a culture medium containing nutrients, allowing cell multiplication, forming calli. We then biologically inject the cells with an anti-sense gene which produces RNA that is capable of interfering with the formation of the MPO enzyme. We place the calli on another medium for continued growth. We subculture to allow for both shoot and root development. The resulting plantlets are eventually transplanted into a greenhouse for further cultivation. The fully grown plant will produce seed. These seeds will be used for both greenhouse and field trials to evaluate the continued expression of low nicotine trait in the plant. <laughs>